the deadly multi-vehicle car accident that closed portions of I-95 in central uh, Florida earlier this morning. This was in Volusia County. Fox 35 Orlando reporter Amanda McKenzie joins us now with more. And Amanda, I know that they just wrapped up a press conference uh, there. So what's the very latest? Well, right now we're just on an exit ramp of I-95 where we have a very good view of just part of the multi-vehicle accident that occurred here early this morning around 1.30. You can see this semi-truck, a huge chunk of it just missing, taken out after it caught fire in that crash. There are multiple vehicles around this area as well. The sun is starting to come up, producing a bit of a haze on the fog that is still around at this hour. So it's a little harder to see just how many vehicles are involved here. But to give you an idea, this is just a fraction of what happened this morning. This is the northbound lanes. There was another accident on the southbound lanes. We have confirmed that a total of three people were killed in these accidents and several other people were transported to the hospital, including children. So a very serious situation out here this morning. Now, as you mentioned, we did just wrap up a news conference with Lieutenant Kim Montez of the Florida Highway Patrol, where she talked about the investigation and what happened. And right now they're attributing a major cause to this accident to the dense fog and smoke in this area. We had several multi vehicle crashes involving semi trucks and other passenger vehicles. Uh, what we now know happened is there was almost zero visibility in the area uh, based on smoke and fog that had mixed together and visibility dropped to zero. And the northbound lanes we now have confirmed four separate crashes involving a total of 11 vehicles. This is a phenomenon that happens throughout Central Florida with our weather when we have uh, the smoke and the fog mix, especially when it's cooler, especially in the overnight hours. So as you heard, Lieutenant Kim Montez talking about part of the contributing factors for this very sad event, this mass casualty event, and she expects to get more updates throughout the day as far as the number of people who were injured and transported to local hospitals. Right now, it, it, officials tell us that the I-95 uh, roads here are going to be shut down for the remainder of the day as they continue to work through the scene investigating and also removing the vehicles and the debris. So this really does have an impact for our area. Thousands of people are going to have to find alternative routes avoiding I-95 here in the Edgewater area of Volusia County. Back to you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.